the title of the thing. I did say the title of the map. It was it was clever. All right, let's start her up. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube, we're basically exhausted all the maps. I don't know how to get more of the UGC ones as per the last episode, so I'm confused. I need to call Ubisoft and be like, hey guys, you want to like, I don't know, just reuse the code from Trials Fusion? So, because it worked better. So, yeah. Uh, anywho, so what is this, uh, Am I the A-Hole post? Oh, it was, yeah, I saw that this morning. It's, um... Has to do with baby names. I don't know if baby names is too hot, too spicy potentially. I don't probably think not. It is. Not really. But it was from the, the from written from the father, I believe. But okay. they, uh, both him and his wife had decided on a name, and then they didn't tell anybody until the baby was born, which is like sometimes it's a, that's a pretty common thing. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Um, but he was just he said the name it was they wanted an unusual name. Their first child has like a normal name. They okay. didn't give any specifics, so they said, well, you know, like an example would be like Michael. And then sure. they gave a couple examples, even though later they just said the name anyway. All right. But I think it's better to give them <laughs> what they said because he said wolf, bear, or banjo. Those were his the, way, the words he used to describe the way the, the name that they gave their child. Uh. As far as like the theme wolf, bear, banjo. But the actual name was Scout, which is not. Oh, that's. I've met people named Scout before. Yeah. But the, in the comments, I just thought it was funny because there were ma there were many uh, replies about uh, uh, being a dog's name, more commonly a dog's name. I mean, and I, I feel like in my experience, I've met, I've met more dogs named Scout than I've met humans named Scout. I have. I'm trying to think. Have I met more dogs named Scout than humans? I have met humans named Scout though, so I'm not like yeah, no, it, def it definitely is a it. thing. It definitely is a thing. Yeah. But I think it's one of those names where I've start. I've just begun to associate it with dog names. Sure, I'm not near. I, I thought this was gonna be that Doctor Phil episode where a mom gave her Absidy. daughter. Yeah, was that was that the shorthand? A B C D E. No, 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 no. That's not it. There was a Doctor Phil episode where a mom purposely gave her daughter the world record longest name of all time. Oh no! And it took her like 30 seconds to say her name. And then That's she's awful. like, it's, but it's this for short. It's just, yeah. it's the most attention grabbing thing just for the parents at the expense of their own child. And it's so dumb. Um, so, you know, it's like naming your kid after a fruit or after a direction on the compass. Well, did you um, see Absidy? I, I have Absidy seen lady? that. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds... I thought the Reddit, the Reddit post tickled me because I have a pretty big fascination with, uh, the intersection of what is an appropriate human name and what's an appropriate dog name because there are definitely there's definitely a distinction uh-huh because i had a, a teacher in high school um and she had a dachshund whose name was rachel <laughs> okay i mean that's the, fine that, that no no it's not fine it's not fine why I'm is sorry. it not fine? It's not fine that's a human person's <laughs> name okay Okay, but there are certain there are definitely crossovers. There are okay. Okay. I'll give you another one I have a I have a close family relative who has a dog and there it this dog's name is Hannah That's also fine. I, I don't see, agree. I, I don't uh, that's a, a hard disagree I don't think there's a problem with a human name for a dog Wait, did I fi oh I finished but, the, uh, but there's a certain type of name for a dog You know, it has, it's like usually like a little goofier Slightly. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't name a dog Alan, but you could name a dog Alfred. Yeah, see, disagree. there is crossover. There like is... something, is, when it's too, like, traditional and normal, it's just weird. Okay, yeah, like naming a dog John, probably you don't do that. Yeah. I'll actually, though, that does sound kind of fun. Like, come here, John. <laughs> okay, so there are certain Richard? names that definitely, you definitely don't hear as much. Yeah, Richard or Bob, but... It's not like it's weirder to name a human Fido than it is to name a dog John. Yeah, that's like a specifically dog name. Yeah, like I'm, ta I'm talking like names that were that we're talking like, like the middle of a Venn diagram. I got you. I got you. But still, I think I'm less you, passionate actually, about. You know, this. somebody out there has been named Fido, and I'm not sure. from like a non-English like country. Yeah. No, I. They've been named it, and and knowing full well that it's a dog's name. Yeah. Um, cause it's, but it's, it's just an attention grabbing thing on, on behalf of the parents is all. And I, I don't like that cause the parents are doing yeah, like it. I, like nothing wrong with a unique name. Oh my God. I actually, this map was in the beta. So I feel like 
We should be crushing, but I am not. I just did a wheelie for like 10 seconds. I'm impressed. Just because I could. Uh-huh. Impressive. I did say on stream once that I would name my firstborn Scumper Jumper, so I can't really talk. <laughs> is that legal? Is that after like the optic player? Yeah, legal legally named Scumper Jumper <laughs> hyphenated. Nope. My second born will be Big Optic Hex. Yeah. Be middle name here. <laughs> Good. I, I agree with your uh, approach. Thank you. The most important part is the fact that I will most like, likely never have children, so... Yeah. Come on. Let's get that going. Why am I doing so poorly here? I don't understand. There we go. Bobby is... Is Fido in Portuguese? Wait, what? I don't know. Somebody in the chat said Bobby is Fido in Portuguese. I don't know how that works. I, I don't I know how that works Portuguese. either. Because aren't your that's isn't that not how names work? No, like I, when you when you take like a like a Spanish class or something, you I don't know if you did you ever do that where it's like you make up you make up your Spanish name. Yeah, but you kind of it's don't. just like the equivalent. But like in a real world situation, you just like me amo Nick. Yeah, exactly. I'm not like me amo Nico. <laughs> That's what my Spanish class name was. No, you, you just go by what your name is. Unless you, you're... In, in were you an Alejandro? Was I an Alejandro? What? Yeah, what was your Spanish name? Jordan. No, you didn't even have like a span... Like a no, they just pronounced the J as an H, so Jordan, I guess. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. 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 Yeah, otherwise it's completely pointless. Although, I will say there are certain names where it's like you you do a conversion from Chinese to English or something like that, and then they yeah. do change it. Uh, but in, in terms of Latin names, or, or names that are based on Latin languages, you generally just keep the name what it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Names are weird. Language is weird. It's crazy out here. It really is. Uh, okay, come on. How the heck am I? Doing and we're all so we're bad. only talking about because of dogs. Yep. So anyway, no, I. Wait, well, it was actually originally it's a person's name. I am <laughs> not nearly as passionate. I feel what the heck. I feel strongly about animal names. Uh huh. Wait, what is what is this? What is happening here? Oh, you have to like launch that over yourself. You know what one of my least favorite animal names is. I don't know. Um, what is it? A Bichon? The little, like, white fluffy dogs? Yeah. I feel like every person, like, 90% of people that get Bichons, they name it Snowball. I don't know what it is. I've never met someone who named their Bichon oh Snowball. Oh, my God. I feel like I've met like, 20. Oh, uh, really? I'm yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't sound very original. Snowball. Or any, any like, white, little fluffy white dog, or even a cat. Snowball. I... Probably I, just offended somebody. Somebody out there has a Snowball. Probably. Here. I'll admit we thought of we thought of that being a name when we got a Himalayan cat uh, when I was in like seventh grade. Is that just no. like a really fluffy cat? Uh, it's yes, it's a white fluffy cat. Just are they all up, white? Like look up snow? a Himalayan. No, not all of them are, are super white. Some are gray. Mm. But um, big, like a what, like a Maine Coon ragdoll like type big, thing. Not like big, big, but it's got some fluff to it. God damn it. I want a lynx. Uh, a red lynx? Oh, there you go. Tie it back <laughs> in. Red lynx. Okay, this Help is... Us out. This is frustrating. This is really frustrating. Oh, God! Oh, this thing. Yeah, this thing sucks. Oh! I got it on my second Are try. Are you kidding me? Yeah, what is, what's going on? I, you, yeah, I don't know how you paused and got the pause right. There we go. Thank you. Speaking this whole map of, situation has you flustered. It really does. I'm just, I'm distraught. Thinking about snowball. There we go. No, I'm distraught thinking about how I don't know what to do for the next maps. Like, what do we do after this is Wait, all done? Here's the important question. What did the cat end up being named? Um, we just kind of referred to it as a cat like we didn't just know cat yeah. <laughs> just cat that, you know, that's not the first time I've heard that but yeah 
I have a my, a friend who um he has a female cat named Gus. I like that. Okay. <laughs> it's just very I don't know, it has some character it's to it. It's not what you're expecting. Yeah, yeah. I got you. And you look at the cat and you're like, you are a little Gus, huh? Yeah, so the the name fits for sure? Yeah, I don't know. It's something about it. Gus for like a, a girl cat is cute for some reason. Hmm. That's fair. In 20 years, there'll be a woman named Gus. I'm sure it probably already There's exists. a Trials map maker named Gus. We played their map slightly earlier. Oh. Yeah, it was a medium one, I think. We played a lot of them on, uh, on Fusion 2. Gus has been around the block, dude. Okay, that's not what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to take it there. I didn't take it there. You did. <laughs> you thought, Well, you said a common phrase. Okay, you, you were the one who took it there, though. You, you didn't have to. We were all thinking it. No, just you. Just you. Gus has been around the block and made some maps, alright? That's all I was saying. Come on! Okay, here we go. Things are going well, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I really... After this, which is, like, gonna be in just a couple minutes on the stream, but next episode on... YouTube, I don't... I just don't know what to do about the map situation without just going back to Trials Fusion. So Gus, distraught. make some more map. I am distraught. I don't want it to be this way, but it is be this way. It, but it is be do this way. <laughs> yeah. Don't want it how it be, but it do. Yeah. Sometimes it be do that which is. Mm. That hurts. And sometimes it be do that which it is not. Is that it? Did I win by two points? Every single thing we've had in this game has always been within like a two point margin. I swear. Yeah. Because we don't have the, the high stakes of the DNF. Although I don't think we had any DNFs in that round anyway, so it was fine. Kind of was how it is. Would it be? Would it do? Okay. Well, um, we'll see you in the next episode after I figured out what to do with the maps.